Hello everyone. This is Purple Lion Paper and we are doing an intermediate level tutorial on a layout. The paper that we used is from Webster's Pages. It's postcards from Paris and this is our layout. We're going to start today by showing you how the paper comes and the first sheet of paper is this paper which has the balloons the balloons were used on the right side of the paper. The back of the paper is the blue dots that was used on the left sheet of paper. We actually used two of these sheets of paper in this project. The next page that we used is this sheet of paper. This part side of the paper was not used on this particular layout, but we will be using it on our future layouts. The back of it is what we used for this picture the backing of the picture and you only need one sheet of this particular sheet. Now we're going to start by showing by uh, getting a piece of basic cardstock. We have an off-white piece you can use any color you want it's just going to be used for strength in the back of the paper <clears throat> and the first thing that we do is we take our balloon sheet of paper and we're going to slice it and according to your pictures, as you can see, we sliced a little bit deeper on the right side, less on the left, and we did that because of the layout of our pictures. So that's what we did in this particular one, <clears throat> and you can do the same. Now, what we started by doing with this is we took our inker and we ink all around our page. I use gold on this <clears throat> because of the gold that's in the balloons but you can use brown, you can use black, whatever color you like. And we inked all the way around this one and around that one. The next thing that we did is <clears throat> on this side of the paper we got our X-Acto knife and we took this <clears throat> excuse me, cloud and we cut along the cloud. We took our X-Acto knife and we just cut right along the cloud and as you can see we went all the way around with the exacto knife when we were done you pop it up and you have your little cloud out out and we took our anchor and we inked along this for definition then we take this we put sticker on the back and we glue this in place we glue, we glue this right down on our backing and this one we do the same on the other side and we put that down as well. Now the next thing that we do is we take our paper again and we take this part of our paper and what we're going to do is we're going to cut that out. Now you can use your X-Acto knife for this portion or your scissors for this particular portion I found that easier. We inked all the way around this and what we did with that was we put that right down here on the bottom of our page. Alright. Okay. Now the next thing that we did is our pictures. We cropped our picture, this particular one we cropped in a rectangle shape and when we were done cropping we took our color we took red because there's red balloons on the right and we just took our paper and had a very small uh, frame around that as you can see then we took another sheet of paper of brown and we made that just a little bit bigger than that so as you can see our framing is pretty pretty small but yet effective and that we put right here on our page. Okay? Now, the next thing that we did on this sheet of paper that we had cut this out, we cut out these balloons. We do the blue, the yellow, and the red. And we just cut them out with scissors. And then what we do is we take foam dots and we put a couple foam dots on our on our uh, balloon and this one we're going to put it right down here we're just going to stick that right on here okay we also 
take a yellow one and we're going to put that one right up here and we have a red one for up here. Okay? The next thing that we do is we're going to take our other picture that we're going to put in this section. And what we did was we chose a picture and we took a, a rounded edger and we rounded edged all, all the four sides of the picture. Then we took our background and we made it quite big. And what we're going to do is we're going to act, we rounded the edges and we're going to actually put our picture up high with a, a deeper base on the bottom. And then we're going to take our ribbon and put our ribbon along the bottom of the picture. Here's our ribbon. Okay. And we're going to take that and we're going to put that all along the bottom of the picture. Okay. And you can glue it however you put it on for, for to be quick. We're just tacking it for now. And then this is going to go right here on this side of the picture. Glue down, and there you have that. Then the almost to the end, we're going to take our ribbon from the collection. We're going to put that right here, and we're going to run that all along here right down. Okay, and that's going to be right there. And the last thing that we do for the page is we're taking a fabric embellishment from the collection called Ooh La La, and we're going to put that right there. That's the end of the layout instruction. That's our final, final picture. And here is the final picture. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come to purplelionpaper.com uh, for a view of the entire collection of paper. And I hope you enjoyed it. Happy scrapping.